Hello YouTube, came in here. I'm back at the dump again. You see what I left behind last time. See if there's anything good I missed. And we'll get digging soon. We're gonna meet in the middle right here in the two sections I was digging soon. So I'm gonna do that today. Let's look around a bit first. Here's the remains of a cream tube. I'm not gonna keep that though. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, there's some old stuff here. Here's an old Clorox. An older one, but not too old, like 1930s. Just check out this fork. Make sure it doesn't say anything on it. Nope. Okay. Just make sure I didn't miss anything else good. It's just milk and magnesia, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't see anything I missed. So we'll get started in a moment. I just need to put my other glove on, which I took off to film. Hey guys, got two finds so far. First is this plain neutral, but well, it's embossed, but it's not really worth taking. Yeah, it's just a neutral, this is so common. I got a nice little Kremel hair tonic. I might take, I'm probably gonna take that, assuming there's no damage. It's nice, for the 1930s. Okay, let's keep digging. Hey guys, just got something really good. Look at this croc, nice. Nice, it's probably English, but still pretty nice. Yay. It was inside of this jar, which this container, which I would have taken if it wasn't cracked. But this is nice. Yay. Woo. Just found something that would have been nice. Look, it's a uranium glass lemon juicer. Well, that's broken. And back, I found what it looks like some sort of really cool flashlight. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Guys, so I thought, ooh, this is just probably just a normal wine bottle, but it's kind of an interesting lip. I pulled it out and, oh my God, it's embossed. Whoa, it's a martini mixing thing. Look, whoa, it's all it's embossed all over. Whoa, I, see, I haven't asked what, etched one of these at home that I bought, but I haven't seen the embossed one. Oh my God, that's so cool. Whoa, I'm so glad I went digging today even though I really shouldn't have. Whoa, look at that. It's beautiful. Is it blown? Looks like a... Uh, no, but it's older machine made, I think. Probably 20s or so. Okay. I'm in a very deep hole now. Very deep. I didn't realize how deep the zone goes. I've been digging about one or two feet deep. And then I thought there was nothing left deeper than that, but I was wrong. I know because look how deep I am now. This is probably about two and a half feet, if not three. And you know what I do my digging with? This, and that's all. And moving the stuff out, out of the way with my other hand. I think I broke a nail, it feels like, that hurts. Oh well, let's keep digging. Hey guys, haven't gotten too much since I last saw you. I got this nice Borden's though, unfortunately I already have one at home. So we'll see if it's in better condition than the one I have, but that's a nice find. Pretty common, but still. And I got these giant squibs, which I'm gonna leave behind because I don't have space for something like this, because it's not that rare and it's really big. Yeah, so, okay. I also got this old Quaker. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that or not. It's Federal Offer Bid, but it's older Federal Offer Bid. It's probably 30s. Yeah. Okay, bye. Hey guys, not gonna take this, but I thought I'd show it. Helena something, it's pasteurized something cream special. Look at that. Nice. Not gonna take that though, because it's just blank. Over in the bottom, which is Valet's. Oh, and it's a back label too, look. I don't know if you can see that, let me clean my lens. There. There. Yeah, nice. I'm not gonna take that though. It's not embossed over in the base. And I'm giving up soon because, I, I mean, I'm stopping for the day soon. Simply because, well, I've gotten to deep to the point where it's all roots. Also, I'm moving towards this tree, which is why it's getting more rooty too. The next space I'm gonna go for is to the left of where I dug. So over here. Hey guys, I'm back. I just got another nice bottle. Look, cream, shampoo. Nice, from the 30s probably. And I got a wine bottle in the hole. I'm hoping it's another one of those embossed ones. I can't get it out because the root's gripping it. That's the issue of digging so close to a tree. I'm gonna try using my prong to get it out. Loosen around. Be back. Okay, guys. I got it out. Fortunately, nothing good. 
kind of pretty, but it's still just a plain wine. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm digging in a different section. I just want to look like some sort of car the remains of some carved architectural piece. I don't know what exactly, but it's solid stone and it looks to be carved. Interesting. Yeah, it definitely has chisel marks on the back and stuff. This is part of some carved, ow, architectural piece. Let's see if the rest of it's in here. There's a piece of stone in here. It might be the rest of, no, I don't know what that is. I'm in a different section here where some of the larger stuff is, like there's some machinery and stuff. I'm seeing all sorts of carved. I'm getting another piece. One moment, right here. Holy shit. It's part of a bust. Holy shit, that's an ear. That's an ear. I found part of a bust. Holy shit, I'm taking that. It's part of a bust. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh. When I found stored carvings, I didn't take, holy. Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at that. I'm gonna see if the rest of it's in here. Holy shit. Look at that. That's a freaking head. And I'm gonna leave this piece behind because, oh my God. That's a freaking stone carving of a head. Oh my God, look at that. Let's see if we can find the rest of it. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a marble bust. There's more pieces in here. I hope there's more pieces of the bust in here. I mean, ha! Oh, I knew it was something good. I knew it was something caught, but a bust? Single pieces in here, I'll be back. Hey guys. So, I mean, holy crap, look at that. That's solid stone. Look at that. I'm gonna take it, of course. Hopefully it can stand up, I can't tell yet. But either way, I'm taking that, that's fucking awesome. So I didn't mean to curse. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be leaving now, but look at that. Oh my God, it's only a piece, but still that's awesome. I'm definitely gonna take that. Look at that. The ear is chipped, but still awesome. Whoa. Unfortunately, I dug for a solid like 20 or so minutes at the spot where I found it. And no sign of the rest of it. Hopefully I'll eventually dig it up in the dump. But so far, no sign of the rest of the head. I don't know what happened to the rest. Maybe it broke up into much smaller pieces. Anyway, yeah. Let's do uh, 30 seconds of live digging where I found it, just to make sure a bit more that it's not there. And the area where I dug it is all like bricks and stuff, because this dump is kind of sectioned in a way. Like down that way is 40s and 50s. This way is all 30s. And some sections are like construction, are like construction material and machinery, which is what is where I found the bust is in a pile of bricks. And I did find one other piece of carved stone, but I look, examined it. And it's just an architectural piece that has nothing to do with the statue, I'm pretty sure, if you look at it. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm heading out for real this time. There's one thing I wanted to show that's torturing me first. This is the best way to torture a bottle digger. There's this jar, clearly blown, has a beautiful thick lip as you can see. I see, is that a Bakelite lid? Oh, thank God. I see, no, that's glass. It has a ground glass lid. This jar. Uh, actually, it's not as old as I thought. That's a Bakelite lid. Oh. I went through all that work trying to get out. I was gonna say, I was putting so much work into getting this out, it was driving me crazy. So I thought that was the lip to the bottle, in which case it would be like really old, like a cork top or a glass top. But it turns out it's just a Bakelite lid. So that makes me feel better about not being able to get it out. I was about to say that it was torture for me to get not get this out because it looked like it was blown in a really early jar. But then I realized that the bake light lid, it's not the lip to the bottle. It's not glass, it's fake light. So probably just, it's probably, well, well there's nothing wrong with bake light, of course. What I'm saying is if it's a bake light lid, then based on what my previous experience is, it's most likely slick and not that good. So that's why I said that. 
Hello, I'm back with the review. Let's get started. First, there's this. Can you believe this? How awesome is this? Look at this, it's part of a marble bust. Fortunately, the ear's chipped, but that's okay. It's still really awesome. Look at the amount of detail on that ear. Yeah, there's the hair and you can see the sideburns. It's so cool. Looks like an older man, heavy set. You can tell. You can see his collar there. There, I have the full neck, the beginning of the neck. See, there's the back of the head, that's so cool, it's solid. Yeah, that's so cool, oh my god. So I have some, some ideas on the potential identity of this man. One of them is the former owner of the property who died in 1912. He owned the property and ran a farm here. His name was Hugh Chisholm. Hugh J. Chisholm. The reason I think it could be him is because for one thing, he has a bust of him that exists, which I will be showing now while I talk. And as you can see, this, as you may be able to see, the sideburns are about are close to the same length, and the ears were kind of similar. Unfortunately, I do not have a picture of the back of the bust, and since I have the back of the head, and this I had a direct comparison. The thing is, this one is sitting at his paper mill, in where it was for his paper mill in in Maine, but th now it's in like a Maine town hall or something. Anyway, so what I was gonna say is. In, it's possible he had one made for himself as well as for his business. Yeah, that's so cool. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. God. That is so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, I'll be back. That's so cool. Ooh, solid marble. Okay, I'll be back with the other items in a moment. Oh my god! Okay. I'm back with the rest of the review. Let's get started. First, there's this thing. Don't know what it is. It has a patent on it, which I will look up and I'll update you. Okay, I'm on a walk actually from another trip somewhere else, but it's beside the point. And we're gonna say it's for a it's part of a thermostat. Yeah, a thermostat. It's part of one. Oh. Yeah, and it says motor stat on it and some other stuff. Don't know what it is. Let me just get it to focus. Yeah, pretty interesting though. Don't know what it is. And this is a clothing tag made out of aluminum. It says, this article is not returnable if the certificate, if its certif certification seal is removed, which is what this is. Bonwit Teller, which is a department store. Or at least was, I don't think it exists anymore. That's pretty cool artifact. Yeah. Be careful with that, it's very delicate. It's just like a sheet of aluminum. Look at that, very delicate. Then there's this nice marble. That's a real nice one, bit of staining, but pretty nice. It's green with kind of a yellowish lining. Let me get that to focus. Yeah. I wonder what Vox Kisto would think of that. It's not that nice of a marble, I've done better one, but it's not bad. Then there's this nice brass buckle of some sort. Pretty interesting. Sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. It's sort of a buckle. Then there's this metal ring, which I took because it says something on it. It's probably just a grommet. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called a grommet. That thing that would go like on like, for example, a piece of canvas for a tent or something, those little hoops that you would put the pegs in, that kind of thing. That's what I think this is. It says something. Yeah, see, that's definitely what this is. It says something on it, which is why I took it. Let's see what it said. 
I can't read it right now. I might have to use chemicals. I'll get it wet and I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I'm back. It's... Sorry, dropped it. I still can't read it, unfortunately. Oh, actually, I was just holding it upside down. Let's see. Can we read it? Get it to focus. I can see letters, but I, I, can, I can't see a full, a full sentence. So no, I can't read it. Oh, well. Then there's this button, which would have been cool. It's like all st stained up. The reason I know it would have been cool is because this little piece looks like probably what the whole button originally looked like. Let me hold that up to the light. Let me get it a focus. Look at that, it looks like freaking amber. Look at that. Yeah. I'll still save it though, it'll go to my jar of buttons. And uh, let me just make sure. Yep, I'll be back with the rest of the review in a moment. Hey, I'm back with the rest of the review. Let's get started. First is this really unusual flashlight. You can see the handles looping around it. And it's hinged on here. You would hold it kind of like a lantern. Look at that flashlight, that's cool. And it does have a mark on the back, but I can't fully read it because it's a bit too crusty. I do see it says patent applied for. Yeah. It's more readable when wet. Yeah, but that's cool. Definitely save that. Okay guys, good news. I found the information on the flashlight. Here it is. It's a Chase & Co. pancake flashlight. Yeah. Then there's just Cremel hair tonic. I've dug a lot of these. They're pretty common. It's a cool bottle nonetheless. And here's something that's less common. Cremel shampoo. I've never seen one of these before. I've dug plenty of the Cremel hair tonics. Look at that. That's cool. It has the original lid. It's cool. Okay. Yeah. Then here's a nice croc. Probably English. I don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. I'll have to update you. Yeah, pretty nice though. Or it has some rust stain, but other than that, it's mint. See that bit of stain in here. But that will come off if I soak it in vinegar, which I probably will. Then it says FMF on the bottom, and then a G. It's the first one I, I've never dug a, an American croc. I'm hoping this one will be, but I doubt it. I've dug several English ones, but not American. And then there's this. It's a property of Borden's. It's a milk bottle, pretty common. That's not even gonna go in my collection, but it's good enough to sell for a few bucks. Sorry about that, got interrupted. Okay, yeah, pretty nice. And here's the best bottle find of the trip. Look at this. For martini cocktails, use martini vermouth. And here it has, says the same thing in Italian. Yeah, that's cool. I have an acid etch version of this at home, which I'll show now. Okay, here it is. Yep, as you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same, except it's fancier in the middle, and it's acid etched. Yeah, pretty cool. Very similar. Yep, pretty cool. Yeah. And on the bottom, it says bottle made in Italy. I need to clean off that bottom better. Still some dirt there. Well, it's machine made, but it's probably about 1930s, I'd guess. Earlier 30s though. Most of the stuff in this section of the dump was 30s, but there is some 20s. That's some cool stuff. Now I have one thing to say to you. It's time for me to head out of this video.